well, do you have your medical marijuana card? <laughs> That's the first thing we would ask. That card gets you into Ganja Gourmet, where you can belly up to the Bud Bar, as in Marijuana Bud. What we'd like them to do is come sit at the bar and give us their order. And then if they want to choose a table, they could choose a table, they could sit on the couch, and we'll bring the food to them. Evan is the pastry chef. When I had my back surgery back in 2001 was when it was offered up to me, um, medical marijuana, you know, smoking it wasn't an option, so I figured I'd cook with it. The menu is extensive. Lasagna, uh, hummus and pita, uh, pizzas, um, but we also serve desserts like cheesecakes, brownies, and a New York treat we call almond horns, which are fantastic. It's also pricey. A brownie is $10, and a dozen lemon meringue tartlets, $120. Horowitz says he's owned the building for more than a dozen years and used to make those little magnets that real estate agents give out. But that tanked with the real estate market, and he decided to look into opening a medical marijuana dispensary. What I discovered is that um, they all ran good businesses, but they were all about getting the patient in, selling them the medicine, and getting them out. With live music, couches, and the bud bar, he hopes Ganja Gourmet fills a niche. There were very few places that had a place to chill and meet people, and none of them had an emphasis on food. Medical marijuana patient Don Armstrong thinks it's a great idea. I only get out to go to the grocery store or to the VA, so this is an opportunity for me to get out and socialize a little.